Hello, welcome to Morris Money, where we give you stock tips in under five minutes. I'm your host, Morris Willie. Today, I'm talking about the horrendous earnings of Hanes Brands and their 30% plummet today. As a YouTuber, I'm not able to give financial advice, but I can give viewing advice. And if you want to watch the best stock content, subscribe to Morris Money. Haynes Brand's fourth quarter non-GAAP EPS was $0.07 cents and it missed by $0.01. Cent. Revenue was $1.47 billion, down 16% year over year. The company reiterated long-term full potential financial targets of approximately $8 billion in net sales and approximately 14.4% operating margins, and it expects to achieve these targets at the end of 2026. For the fiscal year 2023, which ends on December 30th, 2023, the company expects net sales from continuing operations of approximately six. billion $0.05 billion to $6.2 billion, and the consensus right now is sitting around $6.23 billion, which includes a projected headwind of approximately $42 million from changes in foreign currency exchange rates. Gap operating profits from continuing operations to range from approximately $446 million to $496 million, and adjusted operating profit from continuing operations to range from approximately $500 million to $500 million. $550 million, which includes a projected headwind of approximately $6 million from changes in foreign currency exchange rates. Changes for actions totaling $60 million, including full potential plan related charges of approximately $54 million, including an operating profit and refinancing charge of $6 million included in interest and other expenses. Adjusted interest and other expenses of approximately $300 million. Tax expenses of approximately $90 to $100 million. Gap earnings per share from continuing operations ranging from approximately $0.14 cents to $0.25. Cents. Adjusted earnings per share from continuing operations to range from approximately $0.31 cents to $0.42 cents versus the $0.95 cent consensus. And cash flows from operations of approximately $500 million. For the first quarter of 2023, which ends on April 1st, 2023, the company expects net sales from continuing operations of approximately $1.35 billion to $1.4 billion, with the consensus being at $1.42 billion, which includes a projected headwind of approximately $35 million from changes in foreign currency exchange rates. At the midpoint, this rec represents excuse me, an approximately 11% decline as compared to the prior year on the constant currency basis and a 13% decline on a reported basis. Gap operating profit from continuing operations to range from approximately $39 million to $59 million. An adjusted operating profit from continuing operations to range from approximately $50 to $70 million and includes a projected headwind of approximately $4 million from changes in foreign currency exchange rates. Charges for actions totaling $17 million, including full potential plan related charges of approximately $11 million, including in operating profit and refinancing charges charges of $6 million included in interest and other expenses. Adjusted interest and other expenses of approximately $65 million, tax expenses of approximately $17 to $20 million, a gap loss per share from continuing operations to range from approximately $0.14 to $0.09, cents, and an adjusted loss per share from continuing operations ranging from approximately $0.09 to $0.04 cents versus the $0.15 cent consensus. That was all damper news, but the worst of all came from the company announcing the cutting of their dividend. The board of directors eliminated the quarterly cash dividend with the company shifting its capital allocation strategy to focus the use of all its free cash flow on reducing debt and bringing its leverage back to a range that is no greater than two to three times on a net debt to adjusted EBITDA basis. This was some heartbreaking news to hear. I've been buying Haynes stock for the dividend and because I love the company, but seeing them eliminate the dividend is what I think really drove down the stock today. Now, if you look at the their price targets, the company has 11 ratings from 11 different analysts, and the average price target now is $8.36, a 33% upside from this point. The lowest price target is $3, and the highest is $22. I can't say much about the company right now, as quite honestly, I don't know how to feel. 
but I want to hear from you. How do you feel about Hanes Brands? How do you feel about the quarter? And are you going to continue buying at these low prices in hopes that they bring back the dividend? Or you could be buying it because you see it as a long-term investment. Let me know your thoughts down below. Please don't take this video as financial advice and thank you for watching Morris Money.